Master Sadguru Satchidananda Paramatma, which is presence everywhere in the universe, says, By the grace of Paramatma, we are taking the stanza 17 of chapter 12. In this stanza, the Sadguru Satchidananda is telling that a rest seeker never have the over happiness and the sadness and there is nothing impurity he is no desires yona prashyati na deshti no yona prashyati na dveshti न सोचति न कांक्षति शुभ शुभ परित्यागी भक्ति मान्य सामे प्रिय यह न रश्यति न देष्टि न सोचति न कांक्षति शुभा शुभ परित्यागी भक्ति मान्य समे प्रिया यह means that ना means not हर्षति it means over happiness over excitement ना it it means not dvesti it means not jealous or enmity न मींस नॉट सोचति इट मींस नॉट फील फॉलिंग इन द सोरो नॉट फॉलिंग इन द सोरो न कांक्षति नॉट डिजायर नॉट डिमांडिंग एंड दैट शुभ शुभ परित्यागी लीव ऑल द कर्मा सीड्स no karmas seeds all karmas he live forever whether they are good or bad so that bhakti mana it means uh, devotees may it means to me priya means i love and like them 
my dear friends that person who never over excited with the happiness and never caught in the sorrow never jealous and never feel enmity or upset or sorrow and never desires and he give up all the seed of the karmas whether they are good or they are bad that devotee having detach all these things he i like him i love him my dear friends the sachidananda paramatma the master of uncountable galaxies and billions on countable universes he is only and only the astrolation he is only and only the base he is telling to the arjuna about the very very nice stage of a seeker or the sadguru coming sadguru because the krishna is the avatar sadguru is not avatar exactly like the krishna krishna can do the miracles krishna can kill the thousand person but sadguru cannot kill a even person because the sadguru's role is the role of the love and the mercy in the time of the krishna there was some sadgurus they never fight to any man they never involve in the war because krishna is there no need of involvement so here is krishna is telling the quality of high class seeker yona harshati he never over excited in the happiness if you give anything to sadguru if you give any donation to sadguru if you get, give any precious cloth to sadguru if you give any precious land to sadguru if you give the millions dollar to sadguru he will not be happy over happy but it is not a scale if you donate to the sadguru then sadguru use your donations in the help of the seekers in the help of the mankind in the opening of the meditation centers and they spread this peace and enlightenment all over the world but he will not deviate he will like a osim the many many rivers comes in the osim but osim is not never overflow osim has no flood so my dear friend like the osim he is so very very broad the mini the miles miles thousands of miles long ocean so the the enlightenment is like a very very big ocean of pleasure and your worldly things is very negligible negligible like the river so the volume of your happiness in this world cannot be affect on the master or the good seeker because the all happiness your worldly happiness cannot be reached to the enlightened soul the soul is separate and detached from all these things where the happiness is stand the happiness comes from your sensory organs and your mind and your intellect and your mood so your mind and intellect and your mood they it's they are this this itself a beggar in front of the enlightened is so because they have the power and consciousness of that 
Brahma. So all consciousness comes in the sensory organs and your uh, intellect and your mood or your mind. I want to give an example to express this thing. You see, the thousand pieces of the mirror you put in the sunlight and every mirror you can see the every mirror having the image of the sun and he is signing that is it is signing every mirror but if the sun is set the mirror cannot sign so all the signings comes from existence second thing you put the mirror opposite side there is a, the polish polish side mirror will not sign. So this is the proof that your all consciousness, all feelings, all things, it comes from the existence. And when you feel this type of feeling, that your mirror is accurate direction. If you have no eyes, your eyes is blind, you cannot see the light. If you are dumb, you cannot see you cannot hear the sound. If you have your test versus destroy, you cannot feel the test. If you have the paralysis, you, f you cannot feel the touch. So your sensory organ must be accurate for the consciousness adopting, then you can feel. Just like this. Take it in the spiritual science. By the Sakshi meditation, your all consciousness and your attentiveness is ready to know, then you can know. The Sakshi meditation is the preparation of the meditation. So when you stand in the Sakshi meditation and you are detached from the mind, intellect and ego and your all sensory organs, how can you over excited? Because you know these are maya. If a person give you the millions of dollars, how can you excited? You know the millions of dollars will not go with me after death. If you use that millions of dollars, to give the enlightenment to other, to equipment and the premises and other facilities. But you will not excite it because you know the, everything is like the dream in this world. When your consciousness sink in its peak point of the death, nothing is remaining. The proof is one, your experience every day, when you sleep in the sound sleep, there is no dream. Nothing is remaining. Nothing is remaining. In the sound sleep or the anesthesia of the chloroform, no brain, no thoughts, no intellect, nothing is remaining there. So my dear friend, the God existence, Lord Krishna, is indicating you in this direction. Yona Harshati. He will never be over excited or happy. Not wasty. I want to say one thing. My disciple in America, she uh, never see the dream, she direct sleep in the sound sleep, not dreams comes in his mind, in her, her mind. A very, very nice achievement, I think. Because this type of sleep is very, very powerful and very, very resting and very, very energy giving sleep, right? Because the sleep of the six or seven of us with the dream is never equal to one hour sleep of without dream. So the yogis, the jnanis, never sleep long. They sleep with very little. 
and they can get the rest and energy regain, regain their energy and they push up the tiredness. My dear friend, so the Krishna is telling that person which is living in the concentrated condition of the Sakshi, concentrate is not body appropriate here, they are continuously living in the Sakshi and they never deviate by the happiness of any worldly things. And when they will, they are not happy with any worldly things because they do not accept any thought and they will not flow with the thoughts stream. They always detach from the thoughts. They get the thoughts of love, affection and thoughts of gaining and losing never affect them. I never see the river which is uh, beeping. A person is not uh, watching in me. I never see the tree. They are crying. A person not eating my fruits. I never see the bird. The person is not seeing his flight. It's a flight. Never. The nature has no. This type of activities, nature don't want to show to anyone. He do his work naturally. The rivers flow, trees grow. So why the Gyani will be buried to coming and going persons? Never, they will not. So here, Nadveshti, Gyani never jealous with anyone. Never. Because the jealousy is the character of the mind. The jealousy is the character of the intellectual. The jealousy in the, is the character of your mood or ego. The jnanis, the enlightened persons, they totally detach with all these things. These are the instruments they create. The pollution of the sound and other pollution in your appearance. But jnani, you do, jnani knowing well use these instrument, the mind is instrument. The intellect is instrument, the mood is instrument, and the ego is not instrument. He is nothing. He, he, there is no ego. That is only your projection. So, Gyani, live in the conscious condition and the peak of the consciousness. And the seeker also, they are living with the Gyanis. They also learn how to live in the consciousness. So they never jealous with anyone. So they never feeling the enmity or enemy with any man. Because nobody is enemy of the jnani or nobody is the enemy of the vast seeker. But it is not misunderstanding that if you bind the jnani, if you shop, if you beat the jnani, if you want to kill the jnani, the jnani will be standing there. So this definition is failed because our jnanis, they are very powerful like the Vasishta, Vishwamitra, Krishna, they all fight with the enemies, but they are jnani. Because the saving of the body is the right of everyone. And the saving of his name and fame for the seeker's development is the right of the Sadhguru. You know, the Gyanis give, give the Shrapas, the Vedvises, the Durvasa and ETC. Why they do that? They want to save their pride. Because without the fame, because without the pride, nobody will come to them. So, my dear friend, the jealousy is another thing. And the defense is another thing. The enmity is another, th another thing. And the destruction of the evil things and uh, stand against them, that is another thing. So, the Nadvesti, 
The Gyani is never jealous with anyone because the Gyani is living in the stream of complete pleasure on extreme divine happiness that is called Ananda. They are living in the Ananda. And when there is no excitement of happiness, when there is no jealous, when there is, how can there is affect any sorrow or sadness or depression? No, no, never and never, no. They will never feel the sorrow. They will never feel the depression. They will never feel the dependence of this society or the world. They are self-depending person. So there is no, there is nothing effect on the jnani if you come or not come, if you learn or not learn, if you take Guru Diksha or not take Guru Diksha, they can live even solidary. They, they are no desire to make the disciples. No. They are only serving you because they are having the body and they are enlightened. I want to give an example to you. If you are making the food in your kitchen, cooking the food in your kitchen, and you make your food for only for you, and, and, and fortunately your friend is came there, then what you will do? You will divide your food, food and give them and eat you or yourself, yourself. So Gyani is like that. They are get the enlightenment for themselves. But if loving person can touch and come in the circle of their heart, they give them the enlightenment. That's all right. They do not desire that disciples comes and they are worried about disciples. Why not disciple is coming? Why the disciple is going away? They do not worry because they know that every person has his ro own road map. If a person there is no last birth, they will go away from the Gyanis anyhow. And a person they have the last birth, if the Gyani beat every day by the stick, they will stay there. A person which have no last birth, he will see the mistake on the nature of the jnani. He can see, he can project his himself weakness in the jnani because the jnani is like a mirror. If you are sexy, you will see the sexy in jnani. If you are greedy, you will see the greediness in jnani. If you are cunning, you will think that Jnani is cunning. If you are devoter, you will think your, your master also devoter. If you are thief, you think that you, maybe your master will be thief. So this is only your projection. You see in the Jnani's, Jnani is a pure and purest form of the consciousness. So they, if any person, they have no fortunate, they have no last birth, they the existence is not pleased on them. The mind can create any mistake and any misunderstanding, any deviation, they will run away from the jnani. So jnani never care. That is called nakamshati. Even the jnani is not one to material thing. Even the jnani <coughs> not want to make his disciple circle, even the jnani not care the going person, huh? if a person will stay with the jnani, then jnani will care that person. My Sadhguru says, if you are mine, I am yours. If you are not mine, I am not yours. My master, who has given me enlightenment, he says, if you are mine, then I am yours. If you are not mine, then I am not yours. Because that is not compulsion. Then the Sadhguru will run away back you and Sadhguru will buttering you and Sadhguru will say, please stop, stop, I will, please, I, come, come, come. Sadhguru is not a person of a magician or a actor or a dramatist. No. 
the straightforward thing saying this stanza Sadguru will not over excited in happiness Sadguru will not jealous with anyone Sadguru will not revengeful to anyone Sadguru will not caught in the sorrow Sadguru will not comes in tension Sadguru will come not comes in the depression Sadguru no desire to disciples or anything so this is the Sadguru's character the same character in the best seeker he is he do not want anything he want only Sadhguru. he do not jealous with the world he do not waste his energy in the fighting to the others never waste energy a good seeker always involve his energy a good seeker always invest his energy in the meditation of the awareness he will not invest his energy to awareness other society with the fake and false gurus that is the deviation, that is the blindness, that is the wrong direction. My dear friends, a good seeker and never caught in the sorrow because he is living with the Sadguru and Sadguru always wash out his sorrow. Nakamchati, good seeker also never want anything. The Ramayana says, Jinahi na chahi ye kachu kabhi tum san sah sane ye person do not want anything he want on the love and love and grace of Sadhguru that person can enlighten Shubha Shubha Parityagi I have a very very nice example Shubha Shubha Parityagi he do not want put the sin and he do not want to put the holy things or the uh, opposite the sin which uh, he, uh, which person says the uh, heaven will be get by the good works he do not want good bad works and bad works a master is giving the answer to his disciples and a disciple asked to the master master what will be happen your sin and your goodness, good karmas, bad karmas and good karmas. Because the principle of karma theory says everyone should be bear his bad karmas or good karmas. If a person will kill anyone, the other one will be killed that, that person in any birth. So what happened? Your karmas. So master give the answer. Ki after the enlightenment, after the Atma Jnana, after the Buddhatva, the master leave his good and bad karmas like in the Diwali festival. You, you clean your home and put the best material out of your home. Then what happened? A person, they put the uh, they pick up the material they, as they need. A person has a, a need a uh, uh, old tire or they need the boxes, so they can took away. There is no, ma no master's uh, interest. So when the master come on the earth, he is enlightened person, he give up go good and bad, all karmas, and he never start the next karmas because he is living continuously awareness in the sakri or uh, the uh, meditation or bhan or the um, enlightenment jagran. So he is the totally uh, away from all the karmas and he never start the new karmas. What, hap what happened to the master's karmas? The person, they serve the master. They enjoy the master's good karmas and the master's blessing. And they, they get very, very good things as they desire in the world. A person, they are revengeful with the master, they wake fighting with the master, and they give bad names to the master, they uh, make the propaganda against the master, they take the master's bad karma, master's sins. They enjoy the sins. So that's why the answer of the saint which is living in the Bombay 
1965. I don't want to disclose the name of that master because this is not the platform for advertising for any master. So my dear friend, so Sarva Shubha Shubha Parityagi, everything he leave, good or bad, nothing, only the enlightenment, only the consciousness, because the good is Maya and bad is also Maya. Uh, I am very, very, <laughs> I am laughing about the uh, understanding of some uh, persons, uh, I have no word to say, uh, they are they are caught in the worldly things. If the master is talking, why is the way of talking? Why is this is talking? Oh, why subject? Uh, why master talking about the eyes, nose, about the ears, about the belly button? They are, they are standing in the body consciousness. They think that master cannot talk with the secret things. They think that the master is fall down. Master become devil. What is the standard of the consciousness of yours? You are living with the masters for many, many years. And you are. You do not know all our maya. You do not know the physical body the causal body and mental body, these three bodies, they are not, uh, no any value even to talk. But, I say before, the last birth person cannot, the last birth person will stay with me and the last birth is not that fellow, they will not stand with me. They will go by any cause, they will go away from me by any, any excuse, anything. So, the Shuva Shuva Param Pratyagi, if you can leave all the, these things, good or bad, sin or holiness, everything you leave up, only one thing you choose, that is the supreme stage of awareness, that is called enlightenment, that is called Atma Jnana, that is called Buddhatva, that is called Paramahansatva, that is called Istiti Pragya, that is called the supreme state of awareness of enlightenment and liberation. My dear friend, in the last, the Sadguru Sage, Sadguru say in the last, Yasa Me Priya, that type of the soul, I like because the that soul is ready to join me that soul is now ready to mix me that soul can ready to dissolve me you cannot dissolve iron in the water you can not dissolve wood in the water and water will not be transparent because the similar thing it can dissolve in similar thing. You can dissolve the salt or sugar in the water. So, if you want to know the enlightenment, if you want to stand enlightenment, then you must be make your consciousness in that stage when you can jump into that existence. My dear friend, never care, never take any dilemma, never worry, I am with you. I am with you, my body is present here, I will help the seekers. But, if the seekers is not real seekers, I will say them goodbye. Because I have no time for wasting. Thank you very much, love you very much, bless you very much. And you, if you are not seeker, I will pray for you. God will give you the good seeker, seeker stage in the next birth. But if you destroy yourself, then I will not help you. I cannot help you. Thank you very much. Thank you.